The bourbon industry is celebrating. The European Union's tax on American whiskey and Kentucky bourbon will end. Bourbon is a nearly $9 billion industry in the Commonwealth. Distillers here say the tax, that tax has cost them millions over the last three years. Victor Puente has reaction from the Kentucky Distillers Association and state leaders. For years now, we've been reporting on the explosion of Kentucky's bourbon industry and included in European markets where demand for the liquor was rising. The Kentucky Distillers Association told me in the 10 years before tariffs went into effect, exports had grown 98%. But that ended in 2018 when a 25% tariff on bourbon went into effect in the EU and United Kingdom. Before the tariffs uh, took place, so uh, we were at 454 million dollars in exports, about $500 million. And um, this year uh, through August, we were just barely at $200 million. Bourbon makers had two choices, eat that cost, which meant fewer profits or raise prices. You're raising the price of your bottle by 25% and suddenly somebody over there who looks and sees that the, the bourbon they've been drinking um, and it's more expensive, they go, may go back to what they were drinking before. The tariffs were retaliation to steel and aluminum tariffs put in place by former President Donald Trump. Representative Andy Barnes' office said he organized a bipartisan letter with over 40 members of Congress requesting that the Biden administration work to remove the tariffs. Eric Gregory said Governor Andy Beshear's friendship with Biden's Commerce Secretary also helped out. There were many, many days when he picked up the phone and called her and, and um, helped educate her on the damage that was being done and, and really pressed them to get this done. These things were retaliatory. They were hitting bourbon harder than anywhere else because we can't move production offshore like other companies were going to be able to do. Even though the tariffs will be gone, it could be a few years before they know just how much damage they did. Now, do we lose that that consumer, um, you know, as a bourbon drinker for a year, two years, forever? Uh, so, you know, it really does have impacts, uh, not just short term impacts, but also long term potential impacts. For now, he says they're happy to start shipping with the tariffs removed. In Frankfort, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Those tariffs were actually set to double on December 1st to 50%. Now that won't happen. The new deal goes into effect on the first of the new year.